right, hi everyone, this is Katie from the Y. We're gonna be um, doing a chair yoga class here in my rec room. So all you really need is a chair. Um, we're not gonna use any props today, we're just gonna use our bodies just to make things a little bit simpler. So go ahead and grab a chair, make sure the chair doesn't have any arms, and of course no wheels. We don't want it sliding around on you, so you want to make sure that you have a chair that's nice and sturdy. A dining room chair works perfectly fine as long as you've got, um, again, no arms. If you want to play some soft music in the background while we move through this, you certainly can do that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with um, our feet right below our knees and our shoulders above our hips. So go ahead and sit nice and tall. Think about reaching the crown of our head up toward the sky. Our hands are just resting comfortably on our laps. We're starting to pull the belly in, starting to engage our core. And then we let the shoulders just draw down toward the waist, but let gravity do the work. Try to avoid forcing the shoulders down. Just let them relax down. And now we're gonna to start to slowly inhale and slowly exhale through the nose if we're able. Maybe feeling the rise and the fall of the chest and the belly with every breath. If we wanna close our eyes during this part, we're certainly able to do that. Otherwise, we can always bring our gaze down to the floor a few feet in front of us and maybe soften the gaze. Start to notice how we're feeling today. If a lot of thoughts and worries or anxiousness come into the mind, into the body, let's bring the focus back to the breath. Allow the breath to be our center, our focal point. Let's take our time with each breath. Allowing a full inhale, feeling the breath enter the lungs, feeling the breath enter the belly as we inhale. And a slow exhale from the belly and then from the lungs. <clears throat> Again, slow, deep inhale. And slow exhale. Let's hold here for one more breath. And then if we've chosen to close our eyes, let's blink our eyes back open, bring our gaze back to the front of the room. We're gonna release our arms along our sides, our palms are shining forward. Then we're gonna start to do some shoulder rolls. So let's go ahead and make some big circles with the shoulders. Starting to bring a little movement to our bodies. If we want to, we can inhale as we rotate halfway around and exhale as we rotate the other half. And then let's reverse the direction. Again, great big circles. And one more time around. <clears throat> and release. On our next inhale, let's bring our shoulders up toward our ears. We release them toward the back of the room and then slide our shoulder blades down our spine. Our next inhale, we circle sweep our arms around and up, palms come together at the top. As we exhale, we draw our hands all the way through heart center. Now if we're taking care of our shoulders and reaching high to the sky is a little more difficult, we can always come part way up, maybe bring our shoulder or our hands together at the center and bring them in. So just notice how the body feels, notice how the shoulders feel, and go ahead and just move within your own range of motion. 
Let's go ahead and move through this one more time. Big inhale, circle sweep up. And exhale, hands come all the way through heart center. And then we're gonna grab the back, the lower part of the back of our chair. Maybe scoot forward just a little bit more. This time we're gonna move through a cat cow flow. So as we inhale, we press our heart center up toward the sky. Maybe tilt our chin up a little bit, give our shoulder blades a little squeeze. And then as we exhale, we round the spine, hands come to our knees, we tuck our chin down and we push our back toward the back of the chair. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see the spinal movement. <clears throat> so we inhale, we lift, and we exhale, we round, tuck the chin down, push the back toward the back of the chair. Inhale, open the heart center up, and exhale, round. Inhale, open, and exhale, round. Let's do one more. And then we sit nice and tall. Again, shoulders roll down and back. I'm gonna move my chair again. So I am going to be switching my chair around a little bit. So please just go ahead and stay forward the whole time. I just wanna give you different um, angles of the movements so you're able to um, see the bot different body positions. All right, let's go ahead and just open up our knees a little bit. Again, sit nice and tall. This time we're gonna move through another little flow. We're gonna reach our arms forward or we can go high to the sky. So it depends on your own shoulders. And then as we exhale, we're gonna sweep our arms back, hinge forward and reach our arms toward the back of the room. So we're starting to build a little back strength. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lift. And this time as we exhale, we're gonna hinge forward and we're gonna hold. So think of rolling the shoulders again down and back. The crown of the head reaches up at a diagonal. Finding a lot of strength in the core, a lot of strength in our backs. Keep the full deep breaths flowing. On our next inhale, we're gonna reach up high to the sky. Palms come together and hands come to our hearts. Let's go ahead and open our knees just a little bit wider. This time our hands are gonna to come to the tops of the knees. We're gonna hinge forward. And now we're gonna take, now I'm opposite you, so I'm gonna say my right shoulder, so I'm kind of mirroring you. So we're gonna take our right shoulder and press it toward the center, get a little bit of a twist. Ooh, that feels good. And we come up. And then other side, so we're actually taking the shoulder and pressing it toward the opposite knee. So we're going down and over a little bit to the diagonal. Come up, big inhale, exhale, twist, inhale, up, exhale, twist the other way, inhale, up. Let's go ahead and do one more on each side. Exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale twist, and inhale up. Rolling the shoulders down and back. Let's go ahead and heel toe our feet back into the center. Bring our arms along our sides. Palms are shining forward again. I have a little bit of a squeaky chair here. We're sitting nice and tall in our seated mountain pose. Next inhale, we circle sweep up. Palms come together, exhale, drawing our hands all the way down to heart center. And then we're gonna bring them underneath our right knee. <clears throat> Lifting that leg off the floor so our foot clears the floor. Now if it's hard to clasp underneath, you can always take like a towel, wrap it underneath and lift the leg up using that towel or you can use a strap or a belt, um, any kind of a prop that helps you get that leg up a little bit. And then we're just gonna swing our leg forward and back warming up our knees
And now go ahead and hold the leg still. We're gonna circle the foot. And reverse. And then holding the foot still. On our next deep inhale, we draw the knee up toward the chest. And as we exhale, we release down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Let's go ahead and do two more on our own, moving with our own breath. and release the foot all the way down. Now if we're clasping, our fingers can get a little tired, so let's go ahead and wiggle the fingers a little bit, bring some movement to the hands, maybe stretch the fingers if that feels good, <clears throat> and release down. Next inhale, we circle sweep up, palms come together, exhale, drawing our hands all the way through heart center and underneath the opposite leg. Lifting, again, you can use that towel or uh, strap if that works. And then we're just gonna swing the leg forward and back. And now holding the leg still, circle the foot. And reverse. <clears throat> And then holding the foot still, as we inhale, we draw the knee up toward the chest, and we exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Again, let's go ahead and do two more on our own. and release all the way down. Again, give the fingers a little wiggle, a little movement, stretch the fingers, and release down. This time we're gonna inhale, we're gonna reach our arms forward and we're gonna hinge forward. So this is a little more uh, pressure maybe on our backs. So if you need to keep the hands on the thighs for that support, if that's too much pressure having the legs uh, or the arms extended, go ahead and bring the hands to the thighs, but we're gonna reach forward if we're able to. This time as we inhale, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, reach our fingertips high to the sky, but pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, hinge forward, reach forward. Again, hands can be on thighs if that's better. Reach up. Exhale, hinge, so we're finding a lot of back strength here. Inhale up. This time, let's exhale, come forward and circle our arms down and around and all the way up. Nicely done, let's do that again. Hinge forward, hold, circle the arms down, around, and come on up, palms come together, hands come to our hearts. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And exhale. And the hands come to our thighs. All right, so if you want to get a drink, quick drink of water, <clears throat> I've got my water bottle behind me and <clears throat> a little congested here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a drink. We're gonna come to a standing position behind our chairs. <clears throat> and again, I may move the chair side to side just so you can see my um, leg position because I'm kind of hidden around this chair that I have today. So um, I may move it off to the side, but for sure, feel free to just stay right behind your chair, especially if you need that stability. At all times, you can keep one or both hands on the chair, especially as we start to move through some of the standing postures. So let's go ahead and start in our mountain pose. I'm gonna move this to the side. <clears throat> so our mountain pose, our feet are directly under our hips. I'm actually gonna come forward a little bit, shoulders, are over our hips and our arms are along our sides. We're gonna inhale, circle sweep up, palms come together, exhale, we draw our hands all the way through our hearts. Inhale up and exhale, hands come to our hearts. We're gonna push our hips back, bend our knees as we come to chair pose. Now this is a good place if you've got your chair 
to have it in front and have your hands on your chair for stability. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're here. I'm going to turn to the side. We push our hips back. Knees are behind the toes to keep the knees safe. We're going to inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands come to our hearts. Push the hips back, bend the knees, come to chair pose. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up. Exhale the chair. Inhale up. And exhale the chair. We're going to hold in chair pose for two full breaths. One more big breath in, and exhale. Let's inhale, circle sweep all the way up. Palms come together, exhale, drawing our hands to our hearts. All right, we're gonna step out to the side. Again, our chair can be right in front of us for support. We're gonna turn our heels in and toes out. <clears throat> We're going to bring our arms along our sides. On our next inhale, we're going to come up to five-pointed star. So our hands are nice and wide like starfish. As we exhale, we bend our knees, bring our uh, forearms, or our elbows, I should say, to our rib cage, finding moonflower. Inhale, reach up to five-pointed star. Exhale, the moonflower. So think of opening those knees, tracking those knees over the middle part of the ankle, the front of the ankle. And we're just going to move this little moonflower flow. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's go ahead and move through this a couple more times. And one more. And exhale down. This time we're going to inhale up, bring our palms together, exhale, draw our hands to our hearts. Let's go ahead and step our feet in. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, hands come to our hearts. And to the chair. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to step. I'm just going to turn to the side. We're going to find standing down dog. So our hands are on the chair. We're going to step back. Push our hips back slightly, arms can be extended, and then we hinge our bodies down. So if this is too much for the shoulders, we can always step in a little bit to let those elbows bend. Otherwise, go ahead and step back, really stretching into this posture. And we bend our knees, walk toward our chair as we find mountain pose. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming back to the front, finding mountain pose, inhale up. And we're going to move through our chair flow again, just like we did before. Hands come to our hearts, we push our hips back, bend into the knees. Inhale up, exhale the chair. Inhale up. This time we're going to exhale the chair and we're going to hold. And find a little bit of strength building in our lower half. We can keep our hands at our hearts. If we really want to test our strength, we can bring our arms forward. If that's too much, hands can be here or they can even be here. And releasing our arms down, we inhale all the way up. Palms come together, exhale, hands come through heart center as we find mountain pose. All right, we're going to step out to the side again. Again, your chair can be right in front for stability. But this time, you want your heels directly behind your toes. So instead of turning the toes out to the side and the knees out, we're going to keep the toes forward. And now we're going to lift the toes on the right. Pivot to the side, get this off to the side, step down as we bend into the right knee. 
we're gonna find warrior two. So just go ahead and let those shoulders relax right over the hips. We wanna avoid twisting this way or twisting this way. We're kind of at a diagonal here. And then the arms float up. We can bring our gaze just beyond the middle finger on the right, finding strength in the shoulders, strength in the legs. And now let's take a deep inhale from here. As we exhale, our hand is gonna to come to our thigh and we're gonna reach high to the sky with our left arm coming to side angle. Our inhale brings us back to warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Now if we're feeling a little more flexible, we can always bring our forearm down. If that's too much, go ahead and stay higher with the hand on the thigh. Let's keep flowing. Let's come back to warrior two. And now we're gonna find peaceful warrior. So our left hand comes to the back of our left thigh. We reach up with the right. Let's exhale to warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Now we're gonna change it up a bit. We're gonna inhale, peaceful warrior. Let's exhale all the way to side angle. It's a big move. Inhale, use that core, pull all the way back up to peaceful warrior. Exhale, all the way to side angle. Let's do one more. Inhale the peaceful warrior. Exhale the side angle. Inhale back up. Hands can come to our hearts. We straighten our knee, turn our foot in, and give our legs a little shake. Now just remember, at any time, if you need to keep one or both hands on the chair, you can still hold in the warrior poses. Maybe flow with one arm at a time if that's easier. <clears throat> We're gonna to move to the other side. So we lift and turn and bend into the knee. Arms come up. So we're finding a nice strong posture here. Deep inhale. Exhale to side angle. Again, we can have our hand on the thigh. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale to side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Let's move through this a couple more times. Come back to warrior two. And now we're gonna to move to peaceful warrior. So this time, our right hand comes to the back of the right thigh, left arm reaches up. We exhale to warrior two. If the leg starts to get sore, go ahead and straighten it. You can give it a little shake. Come back to peaceful warrior. And warrior two, this is a big move, a big flow. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's go ahead and inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale all the way to side angle. Inhale all the way back up to peaceful warrior. Exhale to side angle. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do one more. Inhale all the way back. Exhale down. Inhale back to warrior two. Hands at our hearts or to the chair. Straighten the leg, turn the foot. And let's go ahead and step, step in. Wiggle our legs. Roll the shoulders down and back. All right, nicely done. That was a big move. So go ahead and get yourself another drink of water. <clears throat> And we're gonna to come to the balance portion of our class. 
So let's go ahead and take the chair and we'll step off, actually, I'm gonna move it over here. We'll step off to the right side of the chair to start with. And now one hand can be on the chair the whole time. We'll kind of play around with it a little bit, see how your balance is. So we're gonna start standing nice and tall and let's go ahead and move to tree pose. So we're gonna balance on the left leg. <clears throat> the right knee's gonna come up or turn out to the side. We can always place our ankle or our uh, a heel on the inside of our left ankle. So we're turning the knee out. So how far we turn it out, it kind of depends on what feels best. If we need to keep it more a little forward, that's okay. We're still, we're just working on the balance. Now at this point, we can just lift the toes. See how that works. Our arms can come to the side. We can always keep one hand on the chair or we can bring the other arm out. See how the balance, if we get tippy and we start to fall over, that's okay, go ahead, grab the chair, start over. If we want, we can bring the sole of the foot to the inside of the left leg. And again, arms can come out. We can even bring our branches up if we want. If we need to keep in contact with that chair, go ahead. Stand nice and tall, let the shoulders rotate down and back. Nice, strong tree pose. and our hands come to our hearts. We release the legs down and give our legs a little shake. Nicely done, let's go to the other side. All right, this time we're gonna balance on the right leg. <clears throat> Hand can be on the chair. We can bend the knee, turn it out. Let that heel rest on the inside ankle and maybe just lift the toes. That feels good, we can stay there. Maybe bring our arms out if that feels good. Play around with the arms a little bit. Or we can bring the foot to the inside of the shin. Just make sure that the heel is below the knee joint. Again, we can hold, reach up. Maybe reach up with the other arm, see how the balance is. If we need to keep that hand in contact with the chair, please do so. Pull the belly in, nice strong tree pose. A little windy in here, a little movement with our tree today. Let's bring our hands down and release. Nicely done, go ahead and give the legs a little bit of a shake. Roll the shoulders down and back, come back behind our chair. Hands on the chair, standing nice and tall. Step back, we're gonna find our standing down dog one more time. So again, I'm gonna to turn to the side. And we're gonna get one more good stretch in down dog. Keeping the knees as bent as we need to, especially if those hamstrings are really tight, go ahead and bend those knees. And bend the knees, walk toward our chair. Come back to mountain pose. Inhale, circle, sweep up. Palms together, exhale, drawing our hands to our hearts. And back down, nicely done. All right, let's go ahead and bring the chair forward. Go ahead and get another drink and we're gonna have a seat. Right, <clears throat> we're gonna do a few seated poses. So we'll start sitting nice and tall. Again, our feet are directly below our knees. And now we're gonna keep our right leg straight and we're gonna cross the left leg over and just allow that knee to fall open. Now, if you've had any type of hip surgery, hip replacements, um, if your doctor has advised you to not do any external rotation or rotation out to the side with your hip, this is where you wanna stay. We wanna be very, very careful um, if we've had any, um, any type of hip surgeries. So this, 
The right knee stays straight, the left knee just kind of falls open. We're just kind of opening up to the side a little bit. Pulling in the belly, sitting nice and tall. And like I said, if your doctor has recommended you don't do anything, any hip rotations, just go ahead and stay here. If you do have a healthy hip and we don't have any uh, hip issues, we can go a little deeper. We can bring this ankle above the knee. We really might feel a big stretch here. Go ahead and flex that foot. Let the left knee just kind of fall open. And if we'd like to feel a little bit more, we can always hinge forward. There it is. Now we're really feeling it in that hip. And always remembering it's okay to move into areas where we're feeling a little tight. Just make sure we're not feeling any pain. Once we feel pain, our body is telling us something, so we need to make sure we back off. Take some nice deep breaths. Make sure you keep the breath moving, the breath flowing. We're gonna hold here for one more breath. And then we sit up nice and tall and release the leg down, nicely done. All right, moving to the other side. So this time our left knee is forward, right foot crosses over and just let the knee fall open. <clears throat> so same thing with this side. If you've had surgery in this side and you have been told to just try to avoid any type of external rotation, go ahead and just stay here. We're still getting a little bit of a stretch here. Still feeling that rotation in the hip. However, if you'd like to come a little further, let's bring that foot up on top, flex the foot, let the knee just kind of fall open. Now, depending on hip rotation, your knee may be way up here, so just maybe hold on to it if you need that support, but just slowly let gravity draw the knee down. Try to avoid pressing on it or pushing too hard. Now, if that feels pretty good and we'd like to move a little deeper, we can always hinge forward. Again, keep breathing, avoid holding the breath. One more breath. And then we sit up nice and tall and release down. All right, that's a nice little stretch. It's called pigeon pose or seated pigeon pose. So it's a really good stretch for the hips. All right, we're gonna move to a little core work. So I am gonna turn to the side just so you can see my body position. <clears throat> So from here, we're gonna to wanna to pull ourselves more toward the front of the chair, but we want a little bit of space because we're gonna work this core. So the feet can be right underneath, I really have a squeaky chair, feet are right underneath the knees. <clears throat> Our arms can be out or we can even crisscross here. So we're just gonna lean back, quickly tap the back of the chair and then come up. So let's go ahead and just flow through this a few times. We go back and we come up and back and up again. Hands can be crisscrossed. That might be a little more difficult or maybe it's easier. It just kind of depends. This time we're gonna go back and we're gonna hold. So try to avoid resting on the chair. You should be able to just um, barely feel the back of the chair touch your upper back. Arms can be here, pull the belly in, keep the core strong. Keep the breath flowing. Let's inhale and sit up. And now we're gonna to move to boat pose. So we're gonna come back, try to avoid resting on the back of the chair. We wanna keep that core strong, barely touching the back of the chair. And now we're gonna take our right leg and lift it up. 
and release down. Take the opposite leg and lift. And release down. Let's do that one more time. Keep holding back. If this gets to be too much, you can sit a little bit higher. Bring the knee up and hold. And release down. One more time on the other side. Nice job, everyone. Hang in there. We're almost done. And release down. Can you hold it for one more breath? Big breath in. Exhale, and we sit up nice and tall, nicely done. All right, we're gonna stretch that out a little bit before we come to our um, last part of class, which is final relaxation. So just like we did at the beginning of class, let's go ahead and move through a cat-cow flow. So we're gonna grab the back of the chair, the lower back of the chair, lift the heart up, squeeze the shoulder blades. And now we round the spine, hands come to the tops of our legs or knees. We round the spine, tuck the chin down, exhale. Inhale, open up to cow. And exhale to cat. And we inhale, sit up nice and tall, roll the shoulders down and back, arms along our sides, palms shining forward. As we inhale, we circle sweep up. Palms come together, exhale, hands come to our hearts. All right, we're gonna sit all the way back in our chairs. So go ahead and use the back of the chair for support. Let the legs, the knees just kind of fall open. If this is uncomfortable, we can always extend our legs, maybe let our heels rest on the floor, or we can always crisscross at the ankles if that's comfortable. Our hands are resting on our laps, palms down, palms up. If you wanna feel more grounded, maybe bringing the palms down. If you wanna feel more open, open to the universe, the palms can come up. Let the shoulders relax down, but let gravity do the work. Try to avoid pressing them down. And again, we can close our eyes if we'd like, or we can just bring our gaze down to the floor several feet in front of us and soften the gaze. And now just doing a very quick body scan, starting with the top of our head, and just notice if we're holding any tension. Notice if we're clenching our jaws. Notice if our tongue is pressing to the roof of our mouth. If it is, just go ahead and release the tongue and let it rest behind the bottom teeth. Let the jaw relax. The shoulders press down toward the waist, but gravity does the work. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, notice the joints softening. Feel our hips sinking a little deeper into our chairs. Notice the thigh bones and the knees relaxing. Feeling a softness in the knee joints, the ankle joints, and the toes. Let the breath come slow and steady. Feel the entire body soften with every breath. And now please feel free to stay here as long as you'd like to. <clears throat> but if we're ready to end our practice, we'll go ahead and start to move our fingers, move our toes. And place our feet back underneath our knees, pull our backs away from the back of the chair, Again, rolling our shoulders up, down, and back, opening our hearts. Our arms come along our sides. As we inhale, we circle sweep our arms around and up. 
palms come together, we exhale, draw our hands through heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, circle up. And exhale, hands come to our hearts. And the love and the light in me honors the love and the light in all of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so looking forward to seeing you back at the Y. I miss my silver sneakers and all the other ones that aren't silver sneakers. I'm really looking forward to getting back. But until then, hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. And hopefully we'll see each other soon. Bye.